in the name of allah the most gracious and most merciful assalam alaikum viewers my name is iram jabbar and i am lecturer in chemistry i would like to welcome you in my chemistry class in our today's lecture we will learn about atom molecule ion and molecular ion first of all we will learn about atom the word atom is derived from greek word atomus mean indivisible democritus introduced this word because according to greek philosophers atom is that smallest particle of any substance which can not be subdivided further but concept of greek philosophers were not based on experimental evidences so their concept was rejected later on in 17th century when quantitative analysis of substances were done then scientists find out that elements combine to form compound and when we break this compound then we again obtain these constituent elements and he also noticed that some elements are the components of many substances work on atom would not stop over here but he he remained continue and some scientists like dalton and berzelius make even more memorable contribution in chemistry dalton recognized law of conservation of mass and definite proportion according to law of conservation of mass mass can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can change from one form to another form form mean when reactants react to form product then no change in mass take place mass of product will be equal to mass of reactants in the same way he also form law of definite proportion according to law of definite proportion elements present in a compound always have definite or fixed ratio of combining atoms for example in case of water hydrogen to oxygen ratio will remain to ratio 1 it will never be changed in case of water if we change that ratio then nature of substance will be changed dalton also developed atomic theory which says that all matter is composed of atoms of different elements and this matter is differ from one to another because elements differ from one another and these elements impart properties to this matter berzelius determined atomic masses of elements and his determined atomic mass are more accurate and they are still used in literature in the same way berzelius assigned symbols to elements and these symbols make us convenient to write chemical formula of any compound and to write chemical equation research on atom were continue and with modern inventions and researches concept about atom were totally changed now our concept about atom is that atom is the smallest particle of any substance which can take part in a chemical reaction and greek philosophers thought that atom is a indivisible particle but modern researches shows that atom is also a divisible particle and when we divide an atom then we obtain 100 above particles and from these 100 above particles electron proton and neutron are known as fundamental particle because major properties of an atom depend on these three particles like mass of an atom its chemical attributes depend on electron proton and neutron number and we know that atom is small in size and we cannot see it with a neck with our eyes even a full stop contain millions of atom so in order to view an atom we need microscope 
microscope have different types like light microscope compound microscope and electron microscope each type of microscope has its own resolution power we cannot see an object by using light microscope and compound microscope because light wavelength doesn't match with the size of atom in the same way compound microscope measures size up to 500 nanometer but the size of atom is too much small so in order to view an atom we need electron microscope in electron microscope we use electron beam and electron beam's wavelength corresponding with the size of atom and atom become visible with electron microscope when x-ray analysis of atom were done then scientists find out that mostly the size of atom or diameter of atom lies up to 0.2 nanometer and its mass also range from 10 days to power minus 27 kg to 10 days to power minus 25 kg this mass is too much small in size and we gain answer in fractions so in order to convert this mass into a whole number we use a larger unit known as atomic mass unit atomic mass unit convert masses of atom into whole numbers and one atomic mass unit is equal to 1.661 ten days to power minus 25 minus 27 kg now we will come to the next part of our today's lecture which is about molecule a molecule is the smallest particle of any substance which can exist independently for example helium oxygen nitrogen methane sulfuric acid and we know that there are millions of molecules even we can say that trillions of molecule so in order to make their study easy we can classify molecule on the basis of different criteria like atomicity like nature of atom and size of molecule if we classify molecule on the basis of atomicity then we can classify it as monoatomic diatomic triatomic and polyatomic atomicity mean number of atoms in a molecule if a molecule contain one atom then it is known as monoatomic for example helium and if a molecule contain two atoms in a molecule then it is known as diatomic molecule for example oxygen gas and if a molecule contain three atoms then it is known as poly triatomic molecule and if it contain three or more than three atoms in a molecule then it is known as poly atomic molecule for example ammonia sulfuric acid in the same way we can also classify molecule on the basis of nature of atom if similar types of atoms are present in a molecule then it is known as homonuclear molecule for example oxygen gas and if atoms of different elements are present in a compound then it is known as heteronuclear molecule for example hcl one atom belong to hydrogen element and one atom belong to chlorine element so they are heteronuclear molecule size of molecule we can classify molecule on the basis of size into two categories that is micromolecule and macromolecule micromolecules are small in size and their masses are low for example oxygen methane hcl while macromolecules are large in size and their masses are very high for example sand diamond hemoglobin 
वन हीमोग्लोबिन मॉलिक्यूल कंटेन टेन थाउजेंड एटम्स मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड एटम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन वन हीमोग्लोबिन मॉलिक्यूल दिस थिंग शोज दैट हाउ मच बिगर अ मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन इज एंड द मैस ऑफ वन हीमोग्लोबिन मॉलिक्यूल इज अबाउट सिक्सटी एट थाउजेंड टाइम्स हैवियर दैन हाइड्रोजन एटम now we will discuss about ion any species which carry charge is known as ion and ion have two types of charges positive charge and negative charge if a species carry positive charge then it is known as cation and if a species carry negative charge then it is known as anion in a neutral atom electron and proton numbers are equal but when we increase or decrease the number of electrons then this electron to proton ratio disturb and a charge appear on a species cation carry positive charge and is form when we remove an electron from an atom and a species carry charge plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 this charge value represent the number of electron lost by the atom and cation formation is endothermic process now question is why cation formation is endothermic process because energy is required to remove electron from nuclear force of attraction that's why cation formation is endothermic process for example sodium calcium iron etc as you can see when we remove one electron from sodium atom then it is converted into sodium cation what is anion anion carry negative charge and this negative charge carrying species is formed when we add an electron to an atom and this anion carry charge minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 again representing the number of electron gained by the atom and anion formation is exothermic process as compared to as contrary to cation formation which is endothermic now question is why anion formation is exothermic process because during electron addition already present electron repels the incoming electron and due to this repulsion energy release and this process become exothermic for example fullerene ion chloride ion when we remove one electron from fullerene atom then it carry minus one charge when we add electron then it carry minus one charge polyatomic ions polyatomic ions consist of group of atoms and this group of atom carry plus charge or minus charge positive charge carrying species are known as polyatomic ions and these polyatomic ions are less common examples are ammonium ion and carbocation ions and uh, if a group of atom carry negative charge then it is known as negative polyatomic ion examples are hydroxide ion carbonate ion etc now last part of our topic is molecular ion molecular ion is a species formed by removal of electron from a molecule when removal or gain of electron take place in an atom in a sorry in a molecule then it carry charge this charge carrying species is known as molecular ion and this molecular ions have two types depending on charge cationic molecular ion and anionic molecular ion 
कैटाइनिक मलेकुलर आइन कैरी पॉजिटिव चार्ज एनाइनिक मलेकुलर आइन कैरी नेगेटिव चार्ज दिस चार्ज कैरिंग स्पीशी आर फॉर्म्ड वेन हाई एनर्जी बीम ऑफ अलेक्ट्रॉन्स एल्फा पार्टिकल्स और एक्स रेज आर बम्बार्डिड होना मॉलिक्यूल वैन वी बम्बार्ड दीज हाई एनर्जी पार्टिकल्स होना मॉलिक्यूल दैन इन मोस्ट केसेज दे नो काउट अलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्राम अ मॉलिक्यूल सो पॉजिटिव चार्ज अपीयर होना मॉलिक्यूल दिस पॉजिटिव चार्ज कैरिंग स्पीशी नॉन एज कैटाइनिक मलेकुलर आइन कैटाइनिक मलेकुलर आइन आर मोर अबंडेंट इन केमिस्ट्री फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन टू पॉजिटिव सी ओ पॉजिटिव सी एच फोर पॉजिटिव एट्सट्रा इट्स ऑल अबाउट टू डेज लेक्चर थैंक यू अल्लाह हाफिज़